So when I have an alarm um, set for me to do something on my phone, it will often um, it will often interrupt when I'm um, filming a video. That's, that's why I sometimes will film like, um, a couple of, a couple of, you know a couple of videos or it depends on it depends on how long the video is and how often my phone alarm um, interrupts it. it. It just kind of stops the video on its own. Um, so anyway, yeah, so the way that I do it is I usually keep some clothes in my locker at the time shooting. It's, just, it's, it's like kind of like, it's like, you know, like a high school locker. That's basically, that's basically the size of it, right? So if you can imagine, you know, keeping all the stuff that you need um, every day for your, whole, for your whole life, you know, what you, what you need to get through an entire day, um, you know, and have, and have other things available to you need to do in a high school size locker, that's what it's like, right? So I keep some clothes there, and then I try every day or every few days to bring my clothes that I've worn um, from the Pine Street Inn to my storage bin on the rise. And then I try to make sure that I have all of my dirty clothes at on the rise on the day that I want to try to do laundry. And to do that, I also have to try to um, get there um, right when it opens at 8 o'clock in the morning. I try to be there sooner, actually, earlier than 8 o'clock in the morning so that I can get my name on the list and do laundry so I can get my laundry done in time to also get back to the Pine Street Inn to do the lottery. So that is something that takes kind of a lot of scheduling every week just to make sure I get it right. And then of course this week it's broken so I haven't been able to do my laundry this week. I have a, I have only maybe a little bit more than a week's worth of clothing, you know. Um, and so I really am out of clean clothes. I have this, like pants and stuff with shirts and everything else, I kind of don't. Right now I haven't needed socks so much, although those, those, those could have left me for a while, a while too because I made sure this winter that I had those um, this past winter. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's kind of where it's at. So now it's like, okay, well, I don't know when the washing machine's gonna get, get fixed on the ride. Um, so at the Pine Street Inn, you can do your laundry once a week also. You have to pay a quarter and you also have to sign up at the front desk for a time slot to be able to do your laundry, right? Because which is, it's at night, it's only during the weekdays. Um, I think during the times people are also taking showers, it's because the, the laundry room is on the same floor as the dormitory and the, the locker room and the shower, that kind of thing. A different locker room. When you go upstairs, when you go upstairs at night to the dorm, and also this is not, this is not like a college dorm. <laughs> These are just two big rooms that have lots of beds in them. So it's, if you're thinking about like a dorm in terms of a college dorm, that's not what it's like. Um, but it's called a dormitory because people sleep there. So yeah, so that's where um, there's another locker room, and the lock those lock those lockers are just are just for whichever bed you get assigned for the night, so you can have stuff up to change into in the morning. Um, but you don't you don't get to you know to keep, you don't get to keep stuff there during the day, and it's a different locker every night according to which bed you have. Um, so yeah, so yeah, you need to you have to sign up, you have to sign up um, in advance for that. Um, you know, I mean, I, I haven't yesterday. Well, okay. So, and the time, the yeah, when I was when I asked, I haven't I haven't had to do my laundry at Pine Street for a while because I was doing it on the rise. So when I finally had to ask this week when when I could sign up to do laundry, someone the person that, the person I asked you said, okay, well that's that's the shift that's from three to eleven. That's when you ask them in the afternoon. Except so yesterday I had my quarter. Except that once I got once I got got to the Pine Street Inn and got settled into the chair that I was in, in the middle of the lobby chairs, so that um, that guy couldn't get near me, I didn't really want to go up to the front desk again. I kind of just wanted to like sit in the chair. Um, because, you know, he was also kind of roaming around the lobby. And then when when I, you know, just kind of throughout, throughout, throughout the afternoon, it was all just a question of like first getting to the lottery and then him stalking me the entire time. And then as soon as I left the lobby chairs, he was stalking me. And then I left, you know, between, I left like, I don't know, um, sometime before dinner and then like um, got back, right? Like I left sometime before dinner started and then got back like around, I don't know, 5.30, 5 20 of seconds, something like that. Um, dinner was you know, more than halfway over. And then it was just a question of like, oh, when, when am I gonna, when am I gonna go up to the front desk? You know, um, and it just kind of got to be something I didn't. I didn't end up signing up for it last night. So I still have to do my laundry, um, and I still have, probably have to get more clothes from on the rise if they have any in their clothing room this morning or tomorrow morning. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. 
um, to be able to get through the week. And everything else that I might want to do is kind of, here's a FedEx truck just drove up here. There's also, uh, I also see a UPS truck. So, to be really honest, you know, what I'm doing now is buying underwear. You know, just buying some cotton underwear that I can wear because I don't have any clean underwear. Or clean shirts. Um, or anything except just sort of like, you know, pants. I have the, I have those things. Just couldn't wash them this week. 